Hey guys, Frank here and welcome to another episode of Digital Classroom. And today it's about something that you actually don't hear me talking about a lot. But something did happen that opened up my eyes a lot. So let's talk about time management today. Join us for today's episode of Digital Classroom. So time management, uh, let's be totally honest with each other. Do you really work with time management? And I have to be totally honest with you guys, I don't. Um, I start my day and I just start working and I finish everything that I need to finish. And when I'm done early, I'm done early and I go home. So I never really thought about time management, to be honest. And then I was approached by a company called TimeBro. And they asked me like, hey, Frank, are you interested to test our software and do a little video about it? And I was going like, TimeBro, time management, that's not really something for me. But I still thought, you know what, let's try it. And that's the thing, you know, sometimes you have to try stuff that you think that will never fit your workflow. And you will find out some really interesting stuff. So let's switch over to TimeBro and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I found out that might or may not benefit you guys. Now, let's be totally honest. First of all, this is a paid video. In other words, I do use TimeBro at the moment, but they ask me to do the video. But as always, I'm 100% honest with you guys because I don't want to ruin my reputation by advising something that I don't really like. So everything I'm going to say to you guys is 100% honest. Okay, so let's switch over to the Time Bro desk. And what you see here is actually my calendar events and my captured activities. Now, this is the first thing that I have to point out, which is a little bit different from probably my workflow than your workflow. And you're going to see that in a moment too. My workflow is mostly on my laptop, but also on some days I'm very active on my phone and on the iPad Pro because most of my workflow for, for example, retouching in Lightroom is actually done on the iPad Pro. And TimeBro at the moment only has apps for Windows and Mac. So that means on your laptops or your desktop it works, but on your mobile devices it doesn't work. Of course, you can sync your agendas or calendars, but that's something that I didn't do because I found out something interesting that even in my situation where I don't use my laptop all the time was actually pretty interesting. So let's take a look at this date. And this day is actually pretty interesting because at this moment we were doing a product shoot for a client. And you know with clients, they always wanna know like, okay, what did you do? How much time did you spend on something? And is it really honest what you invoice me? Well, let me show you this. You can literally tell your client like from nine o'clock in the morning, I started with Capture One session for your stuff. And after that, well, I didn't even take a break Mister. because I went straight home and I started working on your Adobe Lightroom and my Capture One session was imported. And after that, well, I still didn't have any break because at five o'clock I started with all your images. And now it gets really cool because when you go through all these images, you can actually see how much time you spent on every image in which order you opened it. And I have to be honest with you guys, I know Photoshop pretty well, but for my workflow, but sometimes you need something and you think like, where the heck did that go? So I used Safari to actually find out where did Puppet Wrap went? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not proud of it. But as you can see here, I actually found something on the Adobe support community about a Puppet Wrapped gray out. And this is the first time I'm actually gonna stop the video a little bit. Now, you remember that I told you guys that there were certain things that doesn't really have to do with time management, but which are absolutely awesome. Think about this. Where did I found that tip for the puppet trap? Look at this. The link is already there. And that's something that I think is absolutely awesome. So besides showing your customer second by second what you did on their images, you can literally also see, hey, I, I had a problem with something. Where did I find the solution? Okay, so as you can see here, you have a lot of options and you can even zoom in. So for example, let's zoom in to, let's do it ridiculous, to one minute. And now you can literally see everything by the minute. Now in this case, this of course is, oh, per second, sorry. Yeah, and that's why it takes so long. So let's do two minutes and 30, uh, 30 seconds, sorry. As you can see here, you can see that some images we worked on longer, other images shorter. So this gives you a great overview of what you do during a day. 
But I thought, you know what? Let's just keep it running. And also during a day that I played my guitar. There we go. So sometimes I love to just lock myself up in a room and just play guitar. And what's the best way to play guitar? Then using backing tracks from YouTube, right? And sometimes you just play those backing tracks and they are okay, they're nice, and they're not really that spectacular. And sometimes you have this backing track where you go like, wow, this is awesome. You play it three or four times and then you continue to the next one. And then afterwards you think, which was that one that was awesome? You look in your library and somehow it just doesn't work that way, you know? You can't find it back. Well, not anymore. Because now you can actually click here. Okay, let's see, what did I play here? Oh, I played that one once. Okay, I played that one. Okay, let's go here. Ah, there we go. The, that was it. The C minor, dreamy melody. Yes, and what's the link? And there you go. So those are those little things that in time management, although you may or may not use your laptop all the time, are actually really cool. But there's more, of course. Now, think about that you do work on your laptop all the time. I want to give a proper representation of, well, how many hours a day are you at work? Because let's be honest, most people work on their laptop the full day, right? Well, here you have your overview. Now, in my case, I worked eight, nine hours here. I worked seven hours 32 there on my laptop, eight hours 50 here, and Saturday I was off. And that's not really true because Saturday I actually taught workshops I was working from 9 till 6. On Sunday I did some retouching and video editing for 13 hours and 9 minutes. And then on Monday I took a little bit of a breather for 3 hours and 33 minutes. Again, in my opinion, this for me doesn't really give an honest overview of what I do because I think at least on Monday, 50% of that work or maybe even more was done on my iPad and also a lot was done on my phone. And that's the thing nowadays, you know, the phones, uh, let's be honest, when I do social media, the phone works way better for me than the laptop. Somehow this just works faster, it's easier to find everything, and but th that's my personal opinion. So is Time Bro something that you should look into? When I look at all the stuff that they offer, like the last four weeks, you get a really nice overview. And some things are actually shocking because sometimes I think like, you know what, I love my work so much. I don't really have the feeling that I'm, I'm busy, that I do a lot of work. But then when I look at all this stuff, I go like, yeah, those are pretty long days. And of course, there's a lot of stuff in there that's also, of course, your free time. But I think with Time Bro, you start to think a little bit more about how should I work? And sometimes when you have a day where you go like, hey, I thought I did a lot of stuff and there's only a little little thing that is bothering me because I didn't finish anything. Look in time, bro, and you can actually see, hey, wait a minute, I had this topic on a forum and every time I kept looking at that topic, you know what I mean? Maybe it's time to just realize like, hey, when I'm at work, I don't look online on a forum or I don't look online on Facebook. And I think that's really the thing that Timebro can help you with. The, the specs are great if, if you look at all the specs, uh, sorry, all the graphs. So if you last seven days, you have your last four weeks, you have assigned to projects, which you can also do in the software. And again, we're only testing this for two or three weeks at the moment. So we didn't do any projects, but yeah. What more can you say? I, I think it's best for you guys to just check it out online. I will leave a link below for Timebro and also a code where you can get a nice discount. But I think the discount ends half October. And overall, if you are working in an office space or at home and you rely on your laptop a lot and you do have a client or a boss maybe that wants to know everything that you did, I think Timebro is great because the most important thing I found about Timebro is it works on my computer it works on Anawix computer, but if C doesn't want me to see it, it's all private. So it's not something that's in the cloud or that's available for your boss or for your clients. This is something if you want somebody to see it, you can grant access, of course, or you can send it over. If you don't want somebody to see it, it's 100% your own thing. Did I find any slowdowns on the laptop while running Timebro because it's always running in the back? Not really. In all honesty, I'm, I'm running an M1 Pro MacBook and I never saw the thing slow down. So I don't think Timebro is a, is a big heavy thing in the background for me. 
The thing that I did find a little bit frustrating at the start of TimeBro is that every time you start a new software package, TimeBro will ask, can I capture this or am I allowed to do something with it? But in all honesty, after about two or three days, you have opened every software that you use and after that TimeBro is just very quietly in the back recording everything. Personally, my advice, check out TimeBro online. I think for a lot of people, this is an awesome way to literally show your client what you're doing second by second. So no more fights about invoices that are overrated according to the customer, but you can literally just show them like, this is what I did every little second and you can see it. It's all your images I'm working on. Time bro, I love it. It's great to keep your time as a bro. I don't think that was funny. Anyway, see you again next time. Bye, guys.